Well, from Southern Ontario, April 24th, I believe it is. Story time. We haven't had one on the channel for quite some time. If you're new to the channel, you can go way back. I used to do story time quite a bit. Anyways, there's a political theme here, that being the supply and confidence agreement. One might note, we've only ever had one federal supply and confidence agreement in Canada. That's this one. Yeah. Which will run for a total of two and a half years and is designed exclusively. Well, people think it's for Jagmeet Singh to get up, get to his golden pension. Although, I would argue that is Jagmeet Singh and everybody else is WEF. That, that's more what the agenda is. Let's move to story time. Sometime in the early 70s, there was a federal election. So, I'm just a kid. I'm sitting there shelling peas bushels of peas with my granny and my mom out under the shade tree beside the farmhouse, bushels of peas from the garden. They're debating politics. Pierre Elliott Trudeau was running. Again, early 70s. I could have fact-checked when that election was. It doesn't really matter. Children were to be seen and not heard. I'm sitting there shelling peas and listening to them. Granny's take is, we always voted liberal. It's pretty well the gist of her argument. Mother's argument was, I don't like Trudeau. I don't like the fact he was a card-carrying communist in, what, university? Managed to dodge the draft somehow. And she really didn't like his economic policies. That would be around the time, uh, well, America first and then Canada. We went off the gold standard. That was Nixon, wasn't it? Anyways. This is the debate between mother and granny. The pea shelling done, granny goes on her way. I'm lugging in the peas into the kitchen for mum to blanch and freeze. So I'm asking questions. So mother explains politics to me because I didn't, what did I know, right? I said, you know, I go to my buddy Todd's for dinner, their families, you know, they're, they're behind this one guy. And then I go over to the other Jimmy's house and they're behind this but you're you and dad are behind the how's it all work ma so she explains to me how our parliamentary democracy works and still does and always has you vote for your local MP who is in your riding you're a constituent of his riding is the terminology right so mother explains she says I don't like Pierre Trudeau the liberal party however I like our local liberal MP. He's quite bright. You can talk to him. You can have a good conversation with him. In fact, he listens to you. He's a sharp cat. And uh, as an aside, he's a small farmer like we are as well. Well, that's kind of neither here nor there. I said, okay. What about the conservative guy? That's who Todd's parents are seeming to like. She says, well, I've talked to him, too, and I don't think anybody would ever accuse him of sitting at the head of the class, and you don't really have a conversation with him. He's enamored with the sound of his own voice, it seems, if you're following what I'm saying, son. Being a bright young kid, I said, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Well, so, okay, well, what about the NDP? Was that broadbent back in those days? I, I can't remember. doesn't matter. So then I got a lesson in socialism for Ma, right? But, before we get into the lesson of socialism, Mother was explaining, herein lies kind of the problem with our parliamentary system. You're caught in between your local MP and your federal party. But here's where we come back to the supply and confidence agreement again. Mother explained to me, in the same conversation, your local MP is supposed to be listening to his constituents. That's in theory, why they have a long Christmas vacation and an even longer summer vacation. They're supposed to be out amongst their constituents, listening to them and taking our voices to Parliament. Which now we come to the Supply and Confidence Agreement. They're not supposed to vote totally along party lines. These anything but conservative people who think it's a good thing, that's how Parliament is supposed to work. No, it's not. It's not. They're supposed to be able to vote individually 
based upon their interpretation of what their constituents want. The Conservative Party could vote split on an issue. Ditto the Liberals, the NDP. And we'll just leave it at that. The block's the block, right? So, that's how it's supposed to work. Since the Supply and Confidence Agreement has been signed, has anything, anything I ask you, that the Liberal government or the NDP tabled that hasn't passed? I'm not aware of one. And I see the ABC people, the anything but conservative people saying, well, Paul Yev could form a coalition any time he wants. With who? The Bloc? They'd still have less votes than the Supply and Confidence Agreement gives the NDP and the Liberals. This is the whole point of the Supply and Confidence Agreement. So, who, who's, who's Polyev going to make a, an arrangement with? The Bloc, again, it's useless. The Greens, what is there, two of those? Is Jimmy Jaggy or Trudeau going to? No. Rant done. Story time over.